Hi everyone! With film photography specifically development, there is a concept of dodging and burning, which are um, basically effects that either uh, allow more light in certain areas or less light in certain areas during the exposure of the print. And for Procreate, we're going to go ahead and simulate that um, in a non-destructive way so that we can take an image like this and turn it into this. And this is my niece a couple years back at our wedding. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I have here a wedding picture of my niece from a few years back. And I've always just really adored the little story that's kind of unfolding here. You can almost imagine a story. That's probably not the true one. But the one that I'm making up in my head is kind of sweet. <laughs> and these two little guys look like little, you know, mini-me's here. And, and she looks like she's really like, what's going on? Wow. You know, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. And I also like seeing how joyful the people are around them and also the context. They were at a really pretty church that was, you know, surrounded by all these trees. So I don't want to take out these details, but I do want to mute them a little bit. So we're going to do sort of a fake dodge and burn effect to really dial in the focus so we really notice them and it'll add a little bit of drama to the entire piece. But mostly it's going to help dial in our eyes right to the, the what really matters here. So let's get started by creating two new layers and then with this layer 2 we're going to tap it twice to open up the uh, layer menu and we're going to tap mask and then we're also going to tap the, the end there that's normal blending mode and we're going to change that to multiply and we're going to dial down our opacity to about 50 percent there there we go then we're going to go up to layer 3 and we're going to uh, just tap the blend mode there the end and we're going to change that to overlay and then we're going to bring down the opacity of this one to 30% or thereabouts. And I always try to keep it to about 30, somewhere, sometimes it's even 25% when it comes to the lighter layer. And this top layer is going to be our lighter layer. And I try to keep it to about 50% for the darker layer, so the vignette. So let's go ahead and go back to this layer two, and we're going to create our vignette now. So I'm going to go over to my palette here. And I'm going to double tap to make sure I have black. And then I want to make sure that the highlighted layer portion here is the layer and not the mask. And it is. So now I can just go ahead and dump this color right in. Okay, now I'm going to go back to that layer and I want to make sure that the highlighted part is the mask. And now wherever there's white, this mask will, sh or sorry, this layer will show through. And if I add black to that white, it will make it invisible. So that's what we want to do. But first, let's go ahead and get ourselves a nice airbrush. So the airbrush, soft brush, is the one I like. And let's see, I'm going to, yeah, somewhere around 25% is pretty good. So now let's go ahead and paint on our mask, which is going to hide some of that black in that layer that we just made. Okay, so this is actually a great start, but I feel like they could still be a bit brighter. So I sort of feel like they, you know, could have had a fill flash on them just a little bit because it was pretty dark there. Again, this is just a snapshot. Um, so, you know, didn't have fill flash or any of my gear. Somebody else was the photographer here. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and fake it. I'm going to go back up to that layer three. And now I'm going to double tap in the white so I can get white. And now I'm going to actually dial down the size of the brush. I'm thinking somewhere around 12% is probably going to be good for this photo. And I'm going to start in here just so I can see how big my brush is and what it's sort of affecting. And that's pretty good. Awesome. Okay, and then I'm going to come up to his, his face right here. And I like the airbrush because it has soft edges. Oh, that looks really nice. Okay, um, which is kind of what I, you, you know, I, I don't really want to light up the back too far. So I want it to kind of blend wherever I've made mistakes. And I can be sort of, you know, I'm trying to be careful, but I don't have to be too careful here with this uh, because the brush is nice and soft. Okay, so we're going to light it. Oh, yeah, that was great. Lighting up those little shoes down there. Okay, right over here. Ooh, yeah, right in there too. Okay, so there we go. So let's let's look at our, our fixes or our changes here that we've made. I'm going to go ahead and turn these into a group. So here's the original, and now let's put our, our changes in and see. Oh yeah, I really do like that. The original, you know, it's fine. It's a fine snapshot, but this one kind of just brings home some drama. And, but also just more than anything, it brings our eyes right to the center, right to the part that matters without too much distraction. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope your day is amazing. 